Okay. Um, one tradition to the Utahs is done. Okay. Diffutals. Draw XP out. Diffutals. Okay, um, we can say dot run configure prefix equals user or tool. Sorry. And then let's give it into make and make install. File is the same, okay. So we can automate that by stringing everything together. It is possible to automate that. Just watch where you're going. Make sure you look ahead because um, some of them will switch up. But there's a good string, at least three or four, that we can get out of the way just by doing this. Okay. If you tell point two SPUs, not a lot. Utils file, find utils, geoc, so it's at 4 or 5, and I'm going to stop to get text. Okay. But it is one way to automate things and keep it going. Not that we're lazy typers, but however, every time you enter in something with a keyboard, you have a um, increased possibility of making a syntactical error. Which is very easy to do if you're staring in the uh, screen for, I don't know, a day. Okay. It's easy to get tired, it's easy to get across eyes, it's easy to uh, do all that. So we want to try to limit ourselves as much as possible from making these mistakes. And if we can automate these things, then we can do them. Okay. If you chose this done. say not dot run config it'll run our last instance of configure in this case our last instance of configure was configure prefix equals tools and make and make install okay now you have to be very careful with that because you have to kind of remember what your last instance of that was okay now if my last instance of configure was configure prefix equals tools and that's it that's all it will run okay but since I strung them all together, I can get away with that. Okay, same with make and make install. Um, you can get away with that if your last instance was that. Now, I'll show you file. I'll show you something in the history. Let me say history, and I want to grep for let's say configure config. Okay. If we look down here. We can see that um, our history number is 315, and this is what we ran. Okay? The same here, 323. Okay? Same thing. So, if I say, if I say, car XVF find utils, cd into find utils, and I say not 323. Okay, because that was the last, that was uh, one of the, um, <coughs> the numbers of one of the configure make, you know, all that stuff. It's going to run that. Okay? There's two ways you can do that. I like to jot down in memory a number like that of a known uh, instance of, of a string, not a string, but a, of the commands that I ran, because this is a repetitive set of commands. And if I can remember that number from my history, instead of typing all that out, all I have to do is just, you know, run that number in the history, and it'll run. Okay, so that's another tip. Even if you go to some point and say, um, if you have to say configure prefix equals tools with binder equals something, okay, or even if, it, you know, the configure gets pretty long, you can run that configure script manually, 
and then when it goes back to something you know, then you can, you know, run your history number. So having it's like, it just makes things a little easier, a little faster, a little organ. Okay. So you can do that. It'll save you from some typing. Possibilities of making mistakes. Yeah. But I used to do it all the real way. Type everything in. You guys know that. Those who follow my videos, you guys definitely know that. Tar, XVF, uh, do, 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 find your choices, Don, we need to do TR. Okay, TR. And I can look ahead and see it's the same. Okay. I can say it's not 323. Three. Okay, and if you look really quickly, you will see um, that command ran. Okay. That's okay. Get text, like I said, is different. You can see here that our configure is not the same. And so we have to set Emacs equals no. Okay, and configure prefix equals tools to see what's here. Now, if we did, uh, if we banged. 323 in this one, we would uh, run into an error because we left out some stuff. Okay. And we don't even make all of our good text either. We, only, we make some, not all. I could string these all together, and I think I will. I just have to take my time. And look ahead, bro. Okay. Jesus, I'm going to look around the same. One thing you really don't want to do is, I've noticed here, it said get text. This configure is different. Say I skip ahead and I install grep, and I can install, install gzip, and I, I can remember that get text is still not installed. And do m4, or do make, okay? Or something like that. Then I jump back up here to do um, get text. Okay, I would not recommend doing that. Okay, you want to do these things in order. It's in order for a particular reason. Um, you know, some packages need other packages to run, um, or to be installed, or to to have them in their uh, configures. Okay, so you want to do these definitely in sequence order. Okay, Gawk. Gawk is done. XPF get text. I want to see the into get text and I want to see the into get text tools. Okay? Say Emacs equals equals no. That one configure prefix. Prefix equals shit. Prefix equals tools. Disable shared. Okay. And I'm going to say N make C GNU live dash live. And make Okay. <coughs> I think it's right. It's done. So this whole thing will automate itself. Only thing we had to do is copy uh, what's, uh, what's in source. Okay. So.
so six five point two three or something like that. And we'll stop it here and we'll pick it up in a second.